In April 2014, a research group contacted me and asked me to arrange transportation for them to the island of Pagan for them to do some research on the volcano there. So here are just some random shots and occasional commentary on my trip there. We're now passing Anataha. Sunrise over the high seas. On our way to Papa. We pass Anatahan about 5.40 a.m. Friday, April 4th. Now I may look in good spirits there, but the first 10 hours of the trip, the trip took about 18 hours. The first 10 hours was okay, but then something happened around hour 10, and that second 10 hours was murder. I got seasick and I had to uh, lie down on my back in the front of the uh, ship for uh, the next eight hours, of just getting up occasionally to film some shots and then go back to reclining but it was a beautiful experience and here are some shots now as we actually approach Hagen at now the boat anchors off the coast and we yeah take a speedboat to the island itself. Uh, on the island of Pagan, it's about 5 o'clock, 5.30, uh, maybe after 6 actually in the morning. Took a little walk earlier and now I'm returning to our camp. And here is the ship out in the distance. I actually filmed this the next morning after a and night's sleep a in my tent. A little camp, sweet camp. Here's Sandy taking me on around the island. Pagan is a volcanic island and it's one of the northern islands. There are 15 islands that make up the chain, and Saipan, Tinian, and Rota are listed officially as inhabited, and the rest of the islands going north are referred to as the northern islands, and Pagan is about 200 miles north of Saipan. It was populated for a while, but then uh, in 1981, there was a major volcanic eruption and the residents were relocated and evacu evacuated and relocated to Saipan. Here's a helicopter landing on the island. If I'm not mistaken, the, it was bringing some sort of equipment for the research group. I think the trip from my helicopter from Saipan takes about two two to three hours. If I ever return to Pagan, uh, that's the way I'll be going instead of the 18 hours on a boat. Walking through the woods in Pagan. While the research team did their thing, I took the time to explore see the lay of the land. We ended up spending a few days on the island so every morning I would head out and walk along the beach, walk along the black sand and just enjoy being on a pristine island in the middle of the Pacific and pretend I was uh, Tom Hanks in the movie Castaway. Every morning at about 7 a.m., 
I discovered there is a school of dolphin that would visit the east side of the island and swim about and play and if you check the left side of your screen in about three two one zero you see a dolphin do a little pirouette for you about 150 photos from those days you can check out discoverhaven.com and if you'd like to see some video other videos that I had uploaded a few years ago you can check out uh, the discover site and YouTube channel at youtube.com slash discover saipan so until next time I'll see you soon one of the reasons I'm posting these videos and these photographs these years later in 2020 is to call attention to something very important. Now, despite what you've been led to believe, and as you can see in the videos and the photos on Discover Pagan, a Pagan is not deserted, it's not uninhabited, and even though there hasn't been an official government-sponsored resettlement of the island, there are still groups of people, individuals. When I was there, there was a group of seven people who were resettling on their own, pioneers who decided that they just wanted a different way of life. And as recently as 2018, there was another group who made their way up there to resettle and establish residence on the island. So um, it's the island is being threatened by the military, which would like to use it for its maneuvers. And there's a grassroots effort to help to derail that effort. So you can find out more about that at discoverpagan.com. And there will be other links to other organizations and campaigns in the description on YouTube. So thanks for watching and please do what you can to help save Pagan.